Are we on record? Yes, we are. Hi. Um, if you've been watching any of the other videos, you'll see that uh, this time I'm doing things at a different angle. I'm actually standing up. Oh my God, Francesca actually moves. Um, and yesterday I, I promised that uh, I would check in with myself to see what, uh, what things that I'd love to manifest just for me. Um, and as I mentioned, it's actually been a huge challenge for me to change my focus from this needing to be hugely significant, impactful person that saves humanity from itself. Um, and I've had to bring my attention back to me and what is it that I would really love to create. And to be honest, it's pretty much what everybody, uh, everybody would love to create. Um, I'd love to, to have uh, great health and vibrancy. I would uh, love to be financially free to feel like I'm wealthy and thriving. Um, I'd love to be in a superb relationship um, with someone who's following a similar path to me where we really support each other's growth and really challenge each other to grow. Um, and I'd love the opportunity to travel where and when I please and to live in an environment that I consider beautiful and supportive and all that sort of thing. So, you know, that's all I need to create. I haven't created any of that for myself yet. Um, and so I just thought I'd share with you this morning that I decided to tune in intuitively to the choice of being wealthy and thriving and to share with you what came out of that because it was just so incredibly beautiful. And um, in this modality, I think I've mentioned before, we tune in intuitively to the vision of what our heart wants to create. Then we tune into the current reality of where we are now in relationship to that vision. And then we tune into an obvious next course of action that will bring us to that point or that has brought us to that point. And uh, so when I tuned in intuitively to, to my vision of being wealthy and thriving, the experience that I had, what my intuition showed me, is that really living a life that feels wealthy and thriving is our natural birthright. It's actually as simple and as effortless as breathing. And that sense of me being wealthy and thriving is hugely relaxed, really comfortable in my skin, really enjoying abundant, lush, vibrant surroundings and expressing that from within. And so to me, being wealthy and thriving is really just about being me and having fun in my body and expressing that. My current reality was very different. It was this very static, Francesca, very, very static. And it was almost as if, or actually was, like I was too frightened to move in case I somehow upset the apple cart, upset that flow of, of magical energy, rather than actually wield that magical energy. So it looked like I'm just standing terrified like a rabbit in the headlights. And that felt uh, that it really had the ring of truth. And then when I tuned into my intuition to ask what obvious next action I could take, it gave me such a wonderful expression of movement, of joy in my body, and that it wasn't about having a regime. So it wasn't like going to the gym and pumping iron or going on a treadmill and getting fit. It wasn't about having uh, a regimen that in a way can, can be life-denying, I think. Um, it was much more about expressing myself in a, in a lively, physical way to, to just be alive in my body. And so I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> and I'm just really, really drawn to say it's amazing how it can be actually quite effortless in the apparent privacy of my own home to stand talking to a camera and just about to just give myself a little bit of movement and muck around and play inside my body and then realise that innocently I'm going to upload this to YouTube where <coughs> the entire world could see me making a fool of myself or not as the case may be. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to like really be in my body and just move it as I feel. I've got a bit of hoovering to do later, so I'm going to do that. But right now it's like, yeah, it's just great being in a body. And um, since being with uh, Evelyn Brink on Monday and uh, we were singing Fever, and I've been singing that 
all around the flat since then and it's um oh I've completely forgotten how it goes now on camera but anyway uh I can just remember the last little refrain that goes what a lovely way to burn what a lovely way to burn you give me fever when you kiss me fever when you hold me tight fever in the morning fever all through the night you give me fever <laughs> i'm beginning to feel like a complete bonker i've got to say but anyway i'm really happy to be in my body i'm really happy to be doing this i actually do feel really wealthy and thriving right now and i'll keep you posted and uh I might do another one of these tomorrow. <laughs> Give me feedback if you want and don't send this off to, um, actually, <laughs> I think I'll stop now before I give you any ideas I'd rather you didn't have and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, bye.